Hi again guys. Hi. Hi. Um, this second live video is to one, promote the book as well as to do some more giveaways. Okay. Um, to buy a book, as you know the title is Living Life While Squeezing Lemons. The book is now available on Amazon for an introductory price of $1.99 US or hi Charlene or one pound 58 pence um, it started off at one pound 57 it's now one pound 58 the introductory price we haven't raised it but that's how the the dollar exchange rate, the exchange is. rate I think um, so that's the price now and we'd really like you to purchase a copy I'll talk a little bit about the book um, but purchase a copy not just purchase but we'd like we'd love if you could leave us a review on Amazon that helps other people to see there are interesting bits in the book for them and they'll want to purchase as well. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you, Shirley. Um, right. The book um, was born out of our um, need actually to talk about what life is like um, and the fact that life is sometimes sad and sometimes has difficulties to go through, but we can meet those challenges and we have to tell ourselves um, to have a positive mental attitude and that positive mental attitude will take you through now We've looked at ways that we can be positive with life's lemons lemon is a sour thing um, But you can it can be used to turn into so many lovely dishes or drinks or scrubs or useful things so one of the ways we think and we're sure now that you can deal with life's lemons is to actually have a laugh so, you so humor. humor is important to us. Um, so is giving back to others. We also find that recharging your batteries, meaning taking yourself back to your root of spirituality, will actually help you to deal with life's lemons. Working smarter as well is not necessarily harder. Not but necessarily smarter. harder. Yeah, but smarter. If you if you figure out how to get around things you can actually deal with life's lemons that way so we want to share some snippets um, of the book with you in this live video link Lisa will share a little review a little part of one one part of the book um, now what we call lemons are life's challenges as you must know by now so we could, for example, be worried and bothered and have heartache over the fact that yesterday both of our laptops crashed. So my laptop crashed, Joe's laptop crashed and we could be just overwhelmed down. by it all now and down and depressed and not even have this book launch today. But no, 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 nothing no. stops us. Nothing stops us. That's what life is like. There is no smooth road that just leads from beginning to end, just all smooth. So what we thought is, go ahead, you've made all this plan, you put everything in place, let that not stop you. So one of the ways we found as well is that humor helps. Something goes wrong, have a little laugh. Yes, you must take some things seriously, but have a laugh as well. So I don't know how many of you have heard about this drone this the fact that amazon no wants to well is considering delivering our packages by drones so i was in bed one night and i was thinking about this a drone delivering my package to me and i just had so many funny images coming up into my mind that i could not sleep so i got up and i wrote my thoughts down about what i think might be um, a result of amazon delivering these packages so I'm going to read you a snippet of that part of the book, which is about Amazon's new drone craze. So today I was listening to the news and heard that Amazon is thinking of using drones to deliver the packages that we've ordered. Don't ask me why, but that just sounded so funny to me. Not really laugh out loud funny, but it caused me to conjure up in my head in my already busy head, lots of scenarios of how things might work. So I thought I'd share my confusion with you. Thought one, on-time delivery. OMG, can you imagine? 
I'd order my stuff on Amazon. Let's say I'd order a, a Nike bag. I plan to get this body ready in time for summer. But say I'd ordered the bag, paid for it, went to work, and then got into my car, and there beside my car is the drone delivering the bag that I'd just ordered. I ordered one time some crochet hooks on Amazon and they took so long to get to me that I ordered some other crochet hooks from another online shop and got those long before Amazon ones even came. So if Amazon is thinking about using drones to deliver my order, you go for it, Amazon. Thought two, my own helipad. Mm. Well, not really, but I have long dreamt about having a spacious property with space on it for my own helipad. So we could park, I mean land, or airplane, or, or helicopter. I hear if you expect a drone with a delivery, then you will have to have marked out on your property a special plot for this drone. I can just imagine the look on my neighbor's face if the drone misses the pad I'd marked out and land somewhere in the garden. And that is going to be difficult because here in this country, the houses are very, very close together. Thought three, missed delivery. Now, sometimes I miss a delivery from Amazon. Some of us have to work, you know, and find instead a delivery slip posted through my door, which gives me some indication of when and where I can pick my parcel up from. I've always had no problem just going to the next door to get my parcel. But thinking now of this drone malarkey, how the hell is this Mr. Drone going to know to come to the front door, ring the bell, wait a little, some mice from the barking dog that I'm not in, and post my slip through the door? Huh? Who can tell me that? Will the drone wait until I get home from work to ensure I don't miss the delivery? Your guess is as good as mine. Thought four. Ever heard, sorry teacher, but the dog ate my homework? <laughs> Absurd. Well, not really. Some dogs have been known to eat, or at least badly mangled paper. I know of people who've had to put some type of metallic mesh contraption on the inside of their door to where the mailbox is because otherwise the dog will get a hold of the mail and damage it. Some people as well have dogs, not the small poodle type ones that roam about on their property whilst their humans are at work or wherever else. In my mind's eye, I can see a battle raging between dog who had promised to defend his master's property to the bitter end and drone who has just been given this new job opportunity and is I know who would win, dog. This barking dog, I'm sure, would win. Thought five, lost parcel. Personally, I've never had a parcel not get to me from Amazon. It might get to me later than I expected, but it has always got to me eventually. On the other hand, I know of people who have purchased stuff on Amazon and never received said stuff. What do you think has happened to such stuff? Do you think the postman stole it? Or the neighbor perhaps? Well, what if such thieves continue to try their thievery and steal just the parcels, not just the parcels, but also the drone? Huh? Alas, can you imagine a drone thief with a few stolen drones stockpiled in his, sexist I know, or her for that matter house? I can just imagine the news reporter on BBC in his polished tone. An ambulance worker has just claimed the reward of £1,000 after he discovered the stockpile of drones in the home of Joshua Keats, a recluse from 887 Dragon Lane. The ambulance was summoned to the property by Mr Keats, who suspected he was having a heart attack. On entering the property, the ambulance worker had to wade his way through the pile of drones to get to Mr. Keith's bedroom. 
as it turned out, Mr. Keyes is the one who had been stealing, intercepting and stealing the drones from his back garden using a cloned remote control he had made at home. As it turns out, Mr. Keyes was not having a heart attack, but was treated for indigestion. He has received an offer from Amazon to work in their IT department, whilst the Amazon worker used his reward money to purchase himself a, wait for it, a drone. Thought six, lost power. Now these drones must use some kind of power source. I'm not sure what they use, but I'm sure they must use some power. I'm assuming, but what if one day this tardy workman did not check this, the power supply and this drone didn't have enough juice to get to the package, sorry, to get the package to you and then return to base. What if due to the lack of juice, power, it came crashing down just before it got to your pad that you'd marked out, damaging the delicate stuff you had ordered from Amazon? Or worse yet, what if it had just enough power to bring the package to you but then not enough to make its way back to base. Mm. Whose responsibility would that be then? Mine? Huh? What if they want me to get it back to them? How much should my fee be? Your thought would be as good as mine. Thanks for that, um, Lisa. Hi, Sandra and Lloyd. Thanks for joining us, Lloyd. Antoinette and Charlene. How are you, Charlene? Thanks for the birthday shout out. Okay. Um, right, time for another giveaway. I did say in a, a little while ago that for this live video, I would ask you a question about a picture that I have up on Facebook, just posted maybe 15, 20 minutes or so ago. Have a look at the picture. Now, we've got some cakes there with some writing on. Can you tell us what's spelt out on those cakes? On those cakes. What's spelt out on the cakes. While you think of that, um, remember to check our book on Amazon. Amazon.com if you're in the US or .co.uk, wherever you are. Um, the title of the book, Living Life While Squeezing Lemons. And it will sure give you some tips, some useful ways of dealing with unhappy times, sad times, disappointments. Challenges challenges, bitter times in life. Um, it may be loss of a job. Oh yes, Antoinette. <laughs> Joelisa.com is what was spelled out on the cakes. So yes, Antoinette, you win our next one. Um, we want to give a little shout out as well. I know we can you, oh Joelisa Creed, no Sandra. No, Sandra. <laughs> We want to show you, um, again, the apron we showed you earlier. Well, aprons. Now, we've got excellent embroidery work um, on the aprons. I know it seems like you're seeing it backward. You are correct, Charlene. Oh, Charlene, yes, you are correct. Jolisa.com. Now, if you're in the UK and you want, or I think they might mail Mail overseas, well. depending on how heavy the package is. But if you want embroidery services, we can highly um, recommend. We highly recommend the people who did ours. So if you want a link, you can get to us at Jolisa Creed at yahoo.com. So J O L E I S A Very reasonable C R E E D at yahoo.com. Really professional service, quick delivery, quick turnaround time, and really easy to deal with. And the quality of the work. It is it's just really good. Excellent, excellent quality. So if you want um, any kind of embroidery. textile, fabric, embroidery work done, get to us for exquisite, perhaps, gift items and we can pass the link on to you. Oh, you missed that, Charlene. One more coming up, Charlene, so you can listen out. Now, the next, the next um, thing we want to ask you to do is to remember, once you've purchased your book, even after a couple sections or parts or chapters, would you please leave us a review on, on Amazon. Amazon? We really, really would appreciate that if you leave us a review. And also the, the um, hard copy version of the book, the okay. 
paper paperback version of the book will be ready in maybe a week or two from now so those of you who don't like reading from computers or iPads or Kindles or phones you can have your hard copy version to purchase still on Amazon in about two weeks maximum okay so price again one dollar ninety nine US or one pound fifty eight um, pence in the, in the British, UK, in British pounds. Okay, next giveaway. Hmm. What's the subtitle of the book? Charlene, go. What's the <laughs> subtitle? So the title is Living Life While Squeezing Lemons, but it has a subtitle. What's it? What's the subtitle, Charlene? Or Antoinette, or Sandra, or Lloyd. What's this subtitle thrown out there for anyone? Antoinette, give Charlene my second gift. Oh, oh thank you. How amazing. Oh, that's lovely. Share the love. <laughs> Charlene, say thank you. <laughs> okay, so have you found the subtitle <laughs> of the book? Going, going, it's getting dark here. We need to get inside. Um, Sandra, Charlie, <laughs> Sandra, a collection of humor. What's the rest? What's and the, the rest? rest? <laughs> Sandra, <laughs> quick. <laughs> What's the rest? And if you have any questions as well, type your questions. We'll do a few more minutes. Wow. Practical. Yes, Sandra. Collection of humor, practical tips, and inspiration. Congratulations. Ah, a collection of inspiration, no antennas. <laughs> <laughs> so Sandra, you get our next um, apron. Jolisa.com apron. special apron. So if you send us your address, that will be mailed to you. Oh, Antoinette, you're going slowly. <laughs> that will be mailed to you, um, Sandra. So if you send us your email address, jolisacreed at yahoo.com. Yay! Please do remember to check our website out now and again. We are now um, focusing on frugal living, which looks at ways that we can not just spend, 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 spend but save money, um, build up for a nest egg, get on the property ladder, things that you can do, little things that will actually earn you money, allow you to save, and so on. So our first book launch, we're happy to say, has been successful. We have got lots of support, much, much more than we thought we would have got a few days ago. I was so nervous I hardly slept. <laughs> but we've got lots of support and you guys are absolutely amazing. Awesome. So thank you so much. <coughs> thank you, everybody. Thanks be to God as well for yeah. clearing the way for us and for making this possible. Thank, thank you. you. Bye. Bye. Talk to you soon.